Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to do this crazy stuff. Uh, it's basically half tone lines, it's called, and of course push to another level. And yeah, before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily uploads. So let's do this. I'm going to put this away. Okay, uh, first thing, make sure you're on the feel. As you can see, I'm the feel right now. On If you're on the stroke, make sure you don't have anything on the stroke. If you have some colors, then click on the none. And then go back to the feel, click on the feel, so the feel is going to be on the top. Let's go and select the rectangle tool and draw a line. I'm gonna make a bigger one so you can see what I'm talking about. So, okay, I'm gonna put, place it here and of course I'm gonna create a new copy by pressing and holding Alt plus Shift. So you press and hold Alt, drag it, blah, 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 and then press also Shift at the same time. You can see the shortcut down there anyways. So, you go and select the direct selection tool which is located right here. You go to this anchor point and uh, just pull it upwards a little something like this okay almost where they intersect i uh pulled it you know where they intersect basically and you select these two anchor points right click and click on average and make sure you're on both basically this is going to average both pet uh you know both anchor points click ok and as you can see it just it's now perfect Okay, um, I'm going to select both, go to object, go to, what is that, blend, make, and uh, I'm going to show you, of course, how much I add, because basically this is perfect for me. I'm going to do double click on the blend tool, if in case you don't have enough uh, line copies, go and select specified steps, click OK. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I forgot to. So here, basically, I have 16. And you can you can basically increase it, decrease it. Actually, 15 is even better, I think. Yeah, I gotta leave it on 15, okay. Uh, I'm gonna create a new copy of this. So I have a fully editable one. I'm gonna go and select this one, go to Object, Expand, and click OK. I'm gonna scale this down a little bit. So as you can see, this zone is start to be empty and this full, and this zone is full this area is full and this area start to become more empty so uh it's an interesting effect that is for sure uh i'm going to do a new copy right now i'm gonna select the o letter you can select it from here it's the reflect tool i'm gonna press and hold alt click on this and click on horizontal click copy now, basically, we need to make sure that uh, these guys have the right amount of distance between. So I'm gonna add a little something here. So this is basically the distance. I'm gonna place it right here and place this here. There you go. And I'm gonna delete this one. Select both Shift plus Alt and scale it down. So now you can see that this area is lighting up. It's like a gradient. It's it's like a gradient in half tone. I'm going to right click and I'm going to group this. All right. So I got this. I'm going to actually create a new copy because I always create new copies. And I'm going to make a perfect square out of this but because right now we're getting into the square zone. Okay, I'm going to... Right here, you can select the rectangle to press and hold shift and go to this anchor point and just boom, you create. You just need to go down here where they intersect the path. And I'm gonna add a light gray. I'm gonna press and hold control shift plus left bracket, as you can see down in the shortcut. Or you also can right click on the form and let's see which one is that arrange and bring send to back basically and it's going to send it to back so i'm going to select this uh, these lines i'm going to extend them and i don't need this square anymore okay now it comes the fun part actually i do need this square sorry uh let me see i need to rotate this press and hold shift 
and rotate it once okay now basically I want to make a square out of it okay so here we got the square actually I'm gonna put this right in the center there you go <clears throat> okay so from here basically I'm gonna need another square basically so I'm gonna copy another square here okay select both press shift plus m or you can go right here to the menu and select the shape builder tool press and hold alt and shift at the same time so you can select these lines which are outside of the box and delete those okay and voila uh so the main idea is i'm gonna press and hold shift plus alt and scale this down now so this was the right move just forgot about it okay we got a boat select all go to the pathfinder go to divide click on it if you don't have the pathfinder go to the windows and select the pathfinder it's located right here right click on group on the form and basically we need to remove okay so you don't need to you know delete this manually you just select one of these and go to select go to same and fill color so basically this, this is going to select all the gray stuff i just did including this box but i'm gonna press and hold shift and unselect the box so i'm gonna press delete and basically everything is deleted now i need to select these so i'm gonna press and hold shift go up somewhere around so it should it should that's end somewhere around here there you go you're gonna right click group press and hold shift and rotate it and uh, this is how you do it okay so uh so far so good there's also a last thing we shouldn't we should do here i mean we need to do double click on the interior square and from here i'm going to select the direct selection tool which is located right here and i basically need to make these sharp so i'm going to right click again go to average select both click ok and i'm going to do it for all of these So after you click on it's highlighted and if you want to click out you just double click somewhere else and there you go you also can group this part and these are all different forms and i'm also going to put it on the black background to see how it's going to behave whoops Sweet. I think it looks pretty dope. You also can create the number eight out of this stuff. I need to create a new copy, actually. I think I did. I actually know I didn't. Okay, so I just go like this. And I didn't now I need the other box. I mean rectangle. Or square or whatever and I need to position this right where they intersect somewhere same thing with this and I need to delete the interior part of this stuff this is the this abstract kind of stuff I did so yeah thanks for watching again don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell it would mean a lot for me Check out the other videos as well. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.